Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel Complicated Relationships Reddit Stories. Hope you guys are safe and healthy. Now let's see what we have in store for you today. In today's story, the man says, My wife of 22 years cheated on me with my brother 17 years ago. This is an updated story and has community responses as well, so stay with us until the end. The story goes like this. I'm not even sure how to begin this tale. I went to college with my wife and we've dated through high school. Since we were 14 years old, we have been each other's everything. For each other, we were our first. We got married at the age of 20 and at 23, we had a child. From nothing at all, we clawed our way up to middle class. To say that our lives are so entwined that it would be disastrous for us both to separate would be an understatement. I am completely devoted to this woman, which makes this betrayal all the more painful. Fast forward a few years back to 2006 when our daughter was two years old. My brother, five years older than me, is recently divorced from his wife. He was trying to get back on his feet so I wanted to help in any way I could. I offered him our spare room for as long as he needed it. We cooked for him, cleaned up behind him and helped him get his life together. After a few months, I noticed that he and my wife were budding up a lot more than normal. I started noticing that things didn't quite sit right. I am skipping a lot of details here, but eventually they started texting all the time and talking on the phone when he wasn't at our house. I knew there was something going on, but every time I brought it up, I was made to feel like a jealous idiot. After a while, there was little to no attempt to hide it. I went into a dark spiral of depression. The only thing that kept me going was my daughter. This went on for several months. One day I finally checked my wife's phone and saw that they had been texting. My world absolutely fell apart. Trying to be the bigger person, I called them both together for a sit down. They both agreed that nothing had ever been physical. They looked into my eyes and swore to me that the texting inappropriate things were the extent of the affair. I swallowed my pride and tried to forgive in an effort to keep my family together. I would not hesitate to say that this incident broke my brain. I have suffered from severe depression and anxiety as a direct result of this betrayal. My wife and I have had another child. Our lives are finally becoming comfortable. Life is good. On some idle Wednesday, my wife and I were talking and I caught her in a small lie. After needling her for hours, she finally admitted to kissing, snuggling, cuddling, sending pics and phone calls. My life seemed to fall apart worse than it did 15 years ago. I called my entire life into question, including the fatherhood of my second daughter. She has his blue eyes. I spoke with my brother and let him know that I had my wife's side of the story but now I needed his. Based on how they matched up, would decide on how drastically I would take this. I used everything in my power to interrogate him for hours. For the most part, their stories lined up. There was a lot of I don't remembers from both of them though. I highly doubt that is something easily forgotten. I let him know that we were done and never to contact anyone in my family again. During the interrogation, I caught him in a lie about when the affair ended. They had promised me that the affair had ended back when I caught them the first time 17 years ago. However, through some Sherlock level observations, I proved that their affair kept going after I caught them. This devastated me. I was so fragile, betrayed and broken. I considered just ending it so many times and she knew this. They both did. It hurts me to know that I was so close to ending it all and she couldn't keep herself from him. Fast forward a month after catching my wife in more lies, her entire story unraveled and she admitted to having relations with him while she was at a work conference. She claims that this only happened once and that it was very awkward because he couldn't maintain a stand. She said she faked a peek and then he immediately left. According to her, they never had any more physical contact and my brother married another woman and has been with her ever since. I may be a fool, but I am confident that the affair ended about six months after I caught them the first time. I don't know if I should believe that she has been faithful ever since. So anyway, here I sit. I have been married to this woman that I adore for 22 years. Our entire lives are woven together, so much so that I question if either of us can function without the other. I feel betrayed all over again. My wife is telling me that she lied to me to save our marriage and that I can't hold her responsible for dumb things she did 17 years ago. I am really trying to make peace with this, but I don't have a clue where to go from here. Is it worth ruining my life and decimating my family to teach my wife a lesson about something she did 17 years ago? Am I just being an idiot for believing her? I honestly don't know. But I feel that dark abyss of depression slowly creeping back to the front of my mind. It frankly scares the hell out of me and I don't know where to go from here. 
I am trying to maintain some semblance of normality for my youngest daughter. She has four years of high school left, so my plan right now is to move into our basement for the next four years. I don't know if this is a good idea or not. I don't feel like a man. I have lost all confidence in myself. I just feel like some useless weakling that can't stand up for himself and has been made a fool of time and time again. Please help me, anonymous strangers. Okay, so here is the first update. Everything went sideways this morning. I caught her in another lie and finally she admitted that the affair has been physical multiple times in Fleabag Highway motels while I was away for work, just like so many of you listeners said. So slight change in plans. I have a lawyer. My daughters both know. Her family knows. She is moving to the basement until alternative arrangements can be made. I will be keeping the house. Now here is the final update. I am doing a little better. My brother still refuses to respond to me. I am pretty sure that he blocked my number. So I decided to tell his wife, his ex-wife, his daughter, my niece, as many of his friends as I knew and his employer. If I can't have my pound of flesh, I will spread chaos in his world. Despite not having anyone to turn to, I feel like I am in a better place. I honestly thank all of you, anonymous internet strangers, for giving me the pickup I needed. Out of all the posts and replies, I don't think I got a single negative one. That speaks to all of your quality and caliber. This will probably be my last update. I promise I will pay it forward. And that's the end of the story. Well, OP, you have to take care of yourself now. You can thrive on your own. Start looking into detangling yourself from her. Consult a lawyer, find a therapist or support group and focus on being the best dad you can be. You can start enjoying life away from her, find a new hobby and focus on your health. Handle the logistics of separation and then you can decide if you want to reconcile. It's your choice. If she continues downplaying this betrayal, then you can proceed with a new life. Sorry, you've been dealt a messy situation. You are allowed to grieve. Just know that you can 100% move past all of this and regain your confidence. Now, before we wrap up, let's listen to a couple of responses from the community. Also, if you liked what you heard, please hit that like button and share the story with your friends. The first commenter says, this was a gut-wrenching read. I think you should leave. Even if you later decide it isn't good for you, you need space. You need a clear, sterile, neutral place of your own to think, process and make your decision. Your child has four more years of school. But then what? Will it be that much easier to leave? More than likely not. If you want to fix this with her and you are capable of that level of forgiveness, counseling is a must. She also must be 100% devoted to this repair by being 100% transparent about everything moving forward and willing to give herself over to counseling and the marriage. Any issues on her end should be an immediate divorce, no matter how devastating you think the consequences would be. If you were willing to end yourself literally, what is stopping you from the catastrophe of divorce? All the semantics can be worked out, no matter how difficult your morning mind may think it is. Finances can easily be split, assets, etc. Now is the time for you to take a deep breath, put your foot down and command some respect from this woman. If she loves you and she is truly sorry, she is going to do whatever it takes to fix things. If she doesn't, kick her to your loser brother and put yourself first for a change. Definitely go rent a hotel room for the time being or even grab a little apartment or something. You need a neutral, you-only type of place for a few days to let your brain sort of process. While you do this, write down the pros and cons of your marriage and decide if it's worth fixing, is worth the forgiveness, etc. You are going to be alright, friend. No matter how awful it seems, you are alive and therefore anything is possible. There is still time to do whatever you want as long as there is breath in your lungs. You matter. You are worthy. You are loved. And better yet, you are going to get through this. Sending you love and light from Florida. May you find strength and clarity in this difficult time. The second commenter says... If you are entertaining staying with her, you need to have her give you a full timeline and details of everything they did together and then take a polygraph test to confirm that her timeline contains everything and she is not hiding anything else. You also need to ask her if there was any other cheating that you don't know about. How cheaters normally operate, odds are pretty good that they both did a lot more and you still don't have the full truth. They often say it was only once, they couldn't stay hard, etc. You need to know who she really is. You should also DNA test your kids and make sure she knows you are doing it to show that how much she has broken your trust. 
note that polygraph tests aren't entirely reliable and can be evaded by someone prepared to do so. You should research them. If you ask her to take one, it's probably best not to give her a lot of warning to figure out how to evade it. Also note that you can learn a lot simply by seeing how she reacts to being asked to take a polygraph test. If she's lying and believes that the polygraph test will catch her in her lies, she will behave accordingly and try to avoid taking it or may confess. So even if you don't want to pay for or go through with a polygraph test, you may be able to get value out of simply asking her if she will take one for you. As for staying with your kids, you can stay for four years, but it will make you miserable. Your wife has already ruined your family by betraying you, even after she knew better. She didn't do something stupid. She did something premeditated that she knew would hurt you. So did your brother. Don't think your daughter won't notice you living in the basement that your relationship has changed or figure out what that means. Maybe you should have your wife confess to your daughter and then ask your daughter what she thinks you should do. And those are all the responses to the story. I hope you liked today's story and the responses. And if you like what I do, please subscribe to the channel for more. Take care.